For this exercise, we are going to be doing a deep um, 360 core breathing with a pull down towards the opposite knee. So you're gonna put the other hand on your rib cage to focus on inhaling out into the ribs, down into the pelvic floor. So inhale through your nose, expand through the rib cage, feel the pelvic floor lengthen, exhale from the bottom up. So as you breathe out, think squeeze the ball gently or something between your knees, pelvic floor lifts up and in, lower belly flattens. You can think of drawing the hip bones together in the front um, and letting your rib cage kind of knit together in front. So we don't want to keep our ribs flared. Our ribs could, should gently be coming down and in as we then pull the band down and across towards that opposite knee. Inhale, release. Exhale. Pull down and across. Inhale, release. Exhale from the bottom up as you pull down and across. What I don't want to see is when you inhale, back arches when you exhale like that. That is not good. That's what I call seesaw breathing where we kind of fake our core working. Really when we inhale, our back should move towards the ground. So inhale, back, belly, sides, chest, everything fills with air. Exhale, that's when everything comes in. As you contract your abs, your lower belly should not be pooching out either. Everything should be flattening and drawing in. One way you can progress this too is to add a little bit of um, glutes to this too. So as you kind of exhale and pull down, you can bridge up. So that way we're getting this cross body connection in front. And then we're also bringing our glutes into this as well. So inhale down, exhale, lift up as we're pulling down and across. And there should not be any pain with this, so we shouldn't feel this in our back or anything. So you're just kind of getting the lats involved and getting this cross-body connection. And then we can progress, too, by adding in that bridge motion to get the glutes on board, too.